When war broke out in 1914, Britain was still a country that relied heavily on horsepower. Between 1914 and 1918, the British Army took over a million horses to war. This is the story of how they got there, of the threats the animals faced, and of the men who kept them alive. However near you are to death, there's somebody nearer. In this age of mechanized warfare, the outcome of the first clash between horses and machine guns was terrible. Long past veterans recall how they suffered with their horses under heavy shell fire, did their best to care for them in atrocious conditions, and sometimes lost them in the squalor of battle. They apparently acquired around about 140,000 horses in two weeks. That's staggering. To beat the German guns would take stealth and courage from both man and horse. However, there's no doubt that Britain couldn't have won the war without them. swear that we shall be together again.
the uh, character of Nichols is someone I inhabited a bit like a method actor would inhabit, inhabit a character. And I began to draw um, everything that he would see. This is Nichols' sketchbook, which is the initial drawing book of uh, Captain Nichols as he enters the war. But here we have uh, the beginning of an idea of the torn paper out of the sketchbook, which uh, uh, young Albert takes to war with him. These are Nichols' uh, meaning mine initial drawings of July 1914 of rural Devon. The, the drawing itself is quite straight, um, quite straightforward, quite sketchy. Um, the town itself, uh, the steeples, uh, the bunting for the sequestering scene, uh, little sketches of uh, the townscape and close-ups, the kind of thing that he'd be working or thinking through. Uh, the, the influence of Moyer Bridge in his thinking as he's drawing Joey and Albert galloping across the downs and then the more haunting foreboding atmosphere of the nighttime crossing when he's in a troop ship going over to France. Ray created this idea of projection and um, in the sky there's a kind of ripped piece of paper that we project onto all evening. Apart from that and a floor, the space is essentially a space full of darkness which we define through light. Uh, Ray and I had huge conversations about what was possible, about how we could paint and use light to describe very quickly where we were and to move people very quickly from one place to another. Three. 